Hi guys, FIFA and NFL alone here today with the um, final episode of my uh, luck of a draw. Um, with this team, of the luck of a draw. Um, so obviously this review. So basically, going go on team stats. Played ten, one six drawn, one lost three. Scored thirty nine goals with uh, thirty one conceded. Average team rating seven point four two. Top goal scorers are Pat and Benton Benton for eleven eleven goals. And the team cost was 236.5k on Xbox at the time. So I'm not going to get into the players. And last, at 11th place, was Inform Alaba, who was second most expensive at 63k at the time, which isn't great. Got one goal and no assist. Average rating is 6.72. And he is not value for money because, admittedly, he is pixie and he's good at going forward. But for 63k and to get the lowest average rating in the team, Second most expensive, then it kind of just says for itself, really. And it just felt like a, like, just cliche or something. So, for the 10th here, we have David Luiz, his position was right centre back. Uh, got no goals and no assists, ranked 10th. Uh, value 3.6k at the time, his average rating was 7.02, and I do think he has value for money, however, because he did have loads of good chances, uh, good at making runs forward and coming back with his pace. Very tough tackler. Made important challenges when I needed him to, and was a very reliable centre back, and was surprised with the rating for what he got. And at ninth here we have informed Diego. Uh, got two goals and assists in his tank games. Um, his average rating was 7.02 as well. His value at the time was 58.5k, but I don't think he has value for money because, however, he does have four star skills and four star weak foot. Very good, but he's not that quick, and he just. Seems to get taken off the ball a bit too easily, and for 58.5k, that is kind of not what you want in a centre midfielder. So, in eighth was our, one of our players who got into Pax Lucas Lever, originally a holding mid, but played in centre mid in this formation. Got one goal and three assists in his time. Um, 2k was his, is his value in centre mid in that formation now. Average rating was 7.08, but I, I do think he was valued for money because. I have played with him before and he does pop up the goal, loads of good chances, very creative from the field and he is a very, very good tackler. What well, probably is best that about him and I would highly recommend him. Um in at seventh here we have Christian Eriksen in form. Um surprise probably one of my favourite players, surprised they came this low down in the rankings. But in his ten games he did pick up six goals and nine assists. 522k uh, average rate is 7.18 and because of that he's definitely value for money because he's like a poacher sets up actually bottle of goals most assists um yeah and just very creative out there and at sixth we have william Christ, our other centre mid from um, the packs um who also was a hold mid which had to convert but um he got four goals and an assist which is very good. Value in the centre room that formation is only 1k now on Xbox. Uh, it's average rate of 7.28 and um, because of it he's definitely value for money. Admittedly he's not pacey but he is quite strong. Good at keeping possession of the ball. Very good passer. And he does like to have a few shots himself and is not bad at them. At fifth here we have Mike on. Uh, played right back for us. No goals. He did get four assists though. As um, value at the time was 71k and average rate is 7.48 and I do think he has value for money because he gets up and down that way and bonds it so well. All his base stats are 75 plus. With 75 plus shooting that's a lot than most strikers and well, he was just so good. Got four assists. So yeah, very, very good. In at fourth we have uh, Felipe Santana. Um, in it, he played left centre back in his 10 games. He got three goals and assists, which is pretty good for centre back. His value is 1.6k, average rating is 7.65, and he is definitely value for money because he's tall. He's got 81 pace, he's got that 84 85 heading, can't quite remember. And um, good again forward, he got a few goals from corners and um, a tough tackler. And it's just like double and he scored. In at three here, we have uh, Julio Cesar. Played in goal, obviously. Um, ranked third, no goals, and did get one assist, surprisingly. Um, his value was 1.3k at the time. Average rating is 7.87, and with that value and how high his rating was, he is definitely value for money because he's. If you're making a cheap BPL team or cheap Brazil team, then he's he is a reliable goalkeeper, and he will make the saves. Admittedly, he does make the odd mistake, but what goalkeeper doesn't? 
The second here we have Alexander Pato, played left striker for us, 11 goals and 3 assists, his value at the time was 7.8k, average match rating of 8.15 and he is value for money I think, because admittedly in the first 3 games, he first 3 or 4 games he barely got a goal, seemed like very rubbish, seemed not worth it but then he started to score for fun near the end, hence he got the same amount of goals as Bentner and you just have to get used to him. And number one, um, we have Nicholas Bentner. He was first, also with 11 goals. Um, he got five assists, so a bit more than uh, Pato. And at the time, he pretty much seems now really he's worth 700 coins. Um, his stats are rubbish, but he was so good. Average match rate in MP15, and he's definitely value for money. Just because he's tall, he might not have pace, but he certainly seems like it. And that is it for this episode. Thanks very much for watching. Please like, comment.